Well, the FDA has just approved a blood test, a blood test to screen for colon cancer. Here to talk more about that is Michael Holtz, a colorectal cancer survivor and such a true advocate for those with the disease. Thank you for coming in to Absolutely. tell us what this means. I mean, the blood test is approved for people considered at risk. Who, who are we talking about? So for average risk folks, we're talking about people who are closer to the age of 45, um, which is the, the beginning of screening guidelines, people who don't have a history of polyps, people who don't have a history of another cancer, mm -hmm. um, they don't have a family history of colon cancer, um, they don't have type 2 diabetes. So those are folks who are considered of average risk. Average risk, I misspoke and said at risk, it's average, average risk. risk. I'm going to make yep. sure you know that and you were actually in that age group when you were diagnosed. I was actually diagnosed at 43, wow. which was under, yeah. I, it was 50 at the time I was diagnosed and yeah. it just turned 45 in 2018. So yeah, I was under the um, recommended guidelines and we're seeing, unfortunately, more and more younger people being diagnosed with the disease. wonder why that is. There are lots of speculation. Research still needs to be done. Personally, I think it's a lot of the environmental exposures that we have from, you know, the food, the air, the environment. All, all the that, things. All the things. Lots of young people being diagnosed with all kinds of other cancers Absolutely. as well. Okay, let's get back to the blood test. It's known as SHIELD. It's manufactured by Gardent Health. It's already commercially available. So, Michael, how does FDA approval on this help? So, FDA approval means that it meets um, Medicare standards for... Um, basically availability and, and to get into patients' hands. The challenge that it has now is, will insurance companies cover it? Because it doesn't yet have American Cancer Society or U.S. Preventive Services Task Force approval as part of their guidelines. Okay. Um, those guidelines need to be updated. As I said, you know, it's been 2018 was when they were last updated for the American Cancer Society, 2021 for the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force. So it's time for an update. And I suspect if the data shows its effectiveness, mm -hmm. that, that shield would get folded into those guidelines. All right, we'll keep everybody updated. We're out of time, but I've got to ask you real quickly to remind people this doesn't take the place of a colonoscopy. Absolutely not. Colonoscopy is still the gold standard. Yeah. Um, and even if you get a test that um, shows that you may have um, colon cancer, mm -hmm. you know, colon cancer cells in your blood, you'll have to get a colonoscopy anyway. All right, Michael, so. thank you. We're so glad you're doing so well. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.